Good afternoon, everybody. I have the S&P 500 index. Yes, it is truly a weekly chart. And when you go back over here to where we had put bottoms in this later part of August of 2016, this is just a uh, trend line going straight up here to where we're making all-time highs. Then we had put in a double bottom back down over here, and this was at the beginning of the year. And you can clearly see exactly where we've gone up 19.27% higher from that mark. The longer term one that we're talking about right here, that is where the major top where we had problems on the weekly chart and we continued to go ahead and you can see here where this bottom line is right here. We're just gonna take it right here and we're gonna draw a trend line straight across for you. And this was where we had the big pullbacks on the weekly chart, part of 2016. What I can say to you is that this is the beginning of a new bull market. I can tell you that in 2017. And the reason why I'm telling everyone that, this is a Donald Trump rally. Obama's gone. America's gonna get big tax cuts. People are going to be working. People want to invest. People want to trade. And you know what? They want to feel good about their life. They want to feel good about the fact that they live in America. They want to feel good about everything that they do. And this is a weekly chart. What I will do is I'm going to go ahead and throw a monthly chart. And I'm going to have to do the following. I just want everyone to know where we came from. We were down here at uh, 606. OK, and it was in 2009 on this monthly chart and we broke into all time super highs. And this is how new markets, new bull markets. You can see here what I was showing on the weekly. That was exactly that 1800. It could never break it. And we rallied right up. And you can see that these are monthly um, candles on the chart. And I'll show you something else here on the S&P. You can clearly see right here on a daily chart. 2190 was where we had to break higher to all new market, data market highs. The other thing I want to also let you know is that when we were down here, we had market this pullback. And then right after, shortly, uh, Trump won the election as our next president. Market and data from when we had this pullback, this was a major high on this daily chart. And you can clearly market see where we had made other highs. And I'm just drawing your trend line right about there. And when we take a look at Market how we came connection straight lost. down right through this channel here, and then we popped up above it. Market data and guess connection what? We've been higher ever since. This is the S&P 500 new bull market that goes into market 2017. Data connection More people are going to want to come market back data to the connection market. Lost. More people are going to want to reinvest. People like you need to be here to trade options and do extremely well. What I am showing everyone here is the S&P 500 index reestablished November 25th, 2016, 2200 call. It's on a 30 minute uh, chart. It is a call chart. And all of you people that have traded options, you've never seen a call chart. You don't even know when you're buying it or why you're buying it. Well, guess what? That stops. 10 contracts down here at $7.60 went straight up when we were making all-time highs. This was a 2,200 and uh, 200 uh, call, 2,200. And I can also show it to you right here on a four-hour level, which it'll populate. You can see here that these contracts could have been bought for $1.25. And they've gone straight up. And they're up here at 12.20. 20 contracts for $1.50, well, you do the math. You're up somewhere right around $28,000, 119.82% gain. On trading the S&P 500, what? The S&P 500 index. So basically, that's the kind of money you could have made. And then over here, you can see where the charts were on the S&P, and you could make a lot of money trading the S&P 500 bull market and the S&P
500 index options that would have just paid you a whopping 30000 